Has crypto just undergone its great reset? Were we all wrong this whole time on the four year cycles for Bitcoin or has the FTX fraud changed things forever? Well, first I want to address this notion that the FTX collapse was some kind of unique mythical event that could only happen in crypto. It's just not. The stock markets have definitely seen their fair share of scandal and fraud from Theranos, to Bernie Madoff, to Enron, to WorldCom, and dozens of other major scandals. Plus, all of the major commercial banks have been engaged in fraud, money laundering for terrorists, the mafia, warlords, all other manner of financial crimes you can possibly imagine that make the FTX fraud look infantile by comparison. But for an industry that is so small, with less than a trillion dollar market cap currently, this has been devastating for crypto. The markets have essentially undergone an incredibly brutal reset in 2022, as is so typical with crypto bear markets. So let's explore that reset as well as the Bitcoin four year market cycle, which has been scarily accurate so far. First, let's talk about sentiment. Long gone are the days of everyone buying $100,000 watches and then flexing it online. Oh no, 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 no. The market now is all total panic and despair. We have reached the I'm an idiot phase of the market cycle. Many people are now saying that crypto is dead. We're never going to recover from this. It's all over. And the media, of course, is joining in the fun with a constant stream of headlines that this is the end for all things for crypto. It's over. Pack it up. Go home. About the same thing that happened in 2018, to be honest, and also the same thing that happened in 2000 with tech stocks. And yet, companies like Amazon went on to put in 68,000% gains from the lows when everybody was saying that they're dead and never going to recover. Things never really change in markets because people largely react the same way to events in markets. And yes, investing is hard. And even if you didn't have money in FTX, then your portfolio is probably still a complete freaking wreck. But don't be too hard on yourself for that. Everyone has been kicked in the nuts this cycle. Multiple companies have gone bankrupt. Big funds have been absolutely caught with their pants down here with massive exposure to these bankrupt companies. Whales have been beached. It has been a slaughter fest out there. In fact, the simple act of not being broke right now means that you outperformed a lot of the once poster child funds and founders in the crypto industry. But what if this was all so much easier than we all made it? What if the Bitcoin four year cycle is still the only dominant factor in the market? Well, before we talk about that four year cycle, why I am just not worried about my cryptocurrency investments, particularly about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let me tell you about our crazy Black Friday sale. This is your chance to experience all the alpha that my team and I find for you every single week. We do deep dives on altcoin reports, the latest, hottest NFT mints, airdrops, test nets, technical analysis, weekly DeFi, DeFi portfolios, my full portfolio breakdown, and much, much more. For a limited time, you can get 33% off of our monthly membership and 33% off of a six month membership. And if you opt for the six month plan, then you will also get our new Bitcoin investor course, a $147 value for free. Act now because this offer ends soon. Use the link in the description to get started. So let's talk about the Bitcoin four year cycle. The idea that market cycles in crypto are basically completely dictated by the four year having schedule for Bitcoin when the block reward drops by 50% and the supply and demand effects of this particular event happening. Now, I would like to point out that 2022 has been the everything crash and that Bitcoin has basically just followed along with stocks and all the other assets in a monetary tightening environment. Is it also just a coincidence also here that the stock markets topped in January 2018 and then bottomed for the year in December of 2018 at the same time that Bitcoin did? No, 
It's not a coincidence. That's what we call correlation. But still, the Bitcoin four-year model does show us some interesting things that are worth mentioning and discussing. As you can see here, every four years, the market peaks for Bitcoin. This is then followed by a year-long downtrend, which is then followed by about a year to a year and a half of accumulation time. This includes often a significant rally when it happens, but no new highs during that period. Here's an interesting fact for you as well. In both the 2016 pre-halving rally and the 2019 pre-halving rally, the price of Bitcoin got within 30% of the previous high before facing once again a major correction. If it, big if here, because history does not repeat, although it can sometimes rhyme. But if that were to happen again, then we could see Bitcoin reaching $48,000 sometime in 2023 before facing, of course, another big correction in the lead up to the Bitcoin halving. The next Bitcoin halving currently scheduled for March 2024. So again, if that theory holds true, then we're not going to see new highs until 2024. And then new all-time high market top kind of stuff, massive altcoin season, all that crazy crazy in 2025. And my guess is that we will conveniently see massive rallies in the stock markets around the same time. Just a coincidence, of course. It won't at all be because Bitcoin and crypto is just acting like a high beta class of tech stocks that expand in more favorable monetary environments, which we're likely to have over the next few years. Anyway, in the end, I'm not worried about Bitcoin. I understand what kind of asset Bitcoin is. I know that a bet on Bitcoin is a bet against fiat currencies in the insanity of the legacy financial system, even if we are increasingly correlated to it. A bet on Bitcoin is a bet on a better system, one for which Bitcoin is actually simply the tip of the spear and in which we see networks like Ethereum being deeply complementary. Not enemies, but complementary. We see DeFi, NFTs, all this stuff, redefining finance and ownership and the way that things work. And whether the bottom is in for Bitcoin or not doesn't really factor into my, my, my thinking here because the risk reward equation for Bitcoin and Ethereum right now is so much better than it was in November 2021 when everybody was rushing to buy it when we were at all time highs. Personally, I would love to see prices stay low for like a year. That would be fantastic. But chances are, we will only have a few months before things start to get spicy again in crypto for some kind of 2023 bear market rally. In case you weren't here in 2018, shit got real bad in December. And then the first three months of 2019 were a time of great, great sadness. Then in April, markets exploded and we had our great bear market rally of 2019, which saw the price of Bitcoin go from a $3,000 bottom in December up to $14,000 by July. And for reference, a 2023 rally kicking off in late Q1 or sometime in Q2 would line up with the four year cycle as well. That would be enough time for people to also, you know, lick their wounds post FTX collapse. It would also be spring in the Northern Hemisphere. So that would mean an easing of the fears around the potential energy crisis in Europe over the winter. Rate hikes could also finish or be close to finishing near that time, setting stocks up for further gains as the monetary environment would be seen to be more favorable to risk assets. Okay, that's it. Subscribe now. See you next time.